Hi boys and girls, this is Mr. Tom. It's time for another Bible story this week. You remember last week we read about Moses and Aaron and how God brought nine plagues upon the Egyptians and upon Pharaoh when he refused to let God's people go. Well, today we're going to read about the 10th and most terrible plague that God brought upon the Egyptians. And then after that, Pharaoh did let them go. And then something amazing happens after that. So, hey, let's go read that Bible story, okay? The Lord said to Moses, I will bring one more plague upon Pharaoh and upon Egypt. Then he will let you go. Speak now to the people. So Moses said, Thus says the Lord, About midnight I will go out in the midst of Egypt, and every firstborn in the land of Egypt shall die. There shall be a great cry throughout the land of Egypt. Then you may know that the Lord makes a difference between Egypt and Israel. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron, This month shall be the first month of the year for you. Kill some lambs at twilight. Then take some of the blood and put it on the doorposts of the houses. Eat the meat that night roasted on the fire. You shall eat the lamb with your belt on and with your sandals on your feet and with your staff in your hand. And you shall eat it in a hurry. It is the Lord's Passover. For I will pass through the land of Egypt that night and I will strike the firstborn in the land of Egypt. I am the Lord. The blood shall be a sign for you on the houses where you are. And when I see the blood, I will pass over you. Here's a picture. You can see the blood of the lamb being painted onto the doorposts of the house. And when the Lord passes over and sees the blood, he will pass over those houses. But over those Egyptian houses who do not have that, the firstborn will die that night. Then Moses called all the elders of Israel. He said to them, Go and kill the Passover lamb. At midnight, the Lord struck down all the firstborn of the land of Egypt. The Lord caused a great cry in the land of Egypt, for there was not a house where someone was not dead. Then Pharaoh told Moses and Aaron, Moses and Aaron, get out. Leave my country, leave my people. Go take your Israelites and go worship the Lord. And take your herds and flocks as well. Just be gone. But when you leave, bless me. God led the people toward the Red Sea, and they camped at the edge of the wilderness. The Lord went before them by day in a pillar of cloud, and by night there was a pillar of fire to give them light. Here's a picture. Here's the children of Israel camped, and here's the pillar of cloud to lead them by day. The Lord is with them to lead them by day. And then by night, there is a pillar of fire to watch over them and to protect them. And you can see the children of Israel camped out in the pillar of, of fire. Then the Lord said to Moses, tell Israel to camp by the sea. I will harden Pharaoh's heart and he will chase them and I will get glory over Pharaoh and all his army then the Egyptians shall know that I am the Lord and the king of Egypt said what is this we have done we have let the Israelites leave our country and they were our slaves we must go after them ready my chariots and bring all my troops and let's go bring them back and so Pharaoh got ready all of his chariots and all of his soldiers 
and they went after the Israelites. And behold, the Egyptians were marching, and the people of Israel feared greatly, and they cried out to the Lord. But Moses said to the people, Fear not, stand firm, see the salvation of the Lord. The Lord will fight for you. And the Lord said to Moses, Tell the people of Israel to go forward into the sea. Lift up your staff and stretch out your hand over the sea and divide it. Then the people of Israel may go through the sea on dry land. Then Moses stretched out his hand and the Lord drove the sea back by a strong wind and the people of Israel went into the midst of the sea on dry land. See the picture. Here's Moses, and he is causing the waters to divide and dry land to appear, and the children of Israel are watching God do this great miracle. And the waters are divided. And you can see the walls of water on either side, and the dry ground that the children of Israel walk through to the other side to get away from Pharaoh and his army. Then the Egyptians went in after them. Early in the morning, the Lord looked down on the Egyptian forces. He scared the Egyptians. He caused great fear to be among the Egyptians. And the Egyptians said, let us flee from before Israel for the Lord fights for them. Then the Lord said to Moses, stretch out your hand over the sea then the waters will come back upon the Egyptians so Moses stretched out his hand and the sea returned see the picture you see Moses with his raised hand and staff he's causing the walls of water to come down upon the Egyptians and you can see the Israelites who have been saved from Pharaoh and the Egyptians, and they're so happy. Thus the Lord saved Israel that day from the Egyptians. So the people feared the Lord, and they believed in the Lord and in his servant Moses. Then Moses and the people of Israel sang this song of praise to God. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has given me victory. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has given me victory. This is my God and I will praise him. My Father's God and I will exalt him. This is my God and I will praise him. The Lord is a warrior, mighty is his name. The Lord is a warrior, Yahweh is his name. Wow, that was amazing. God is so mighty, God is so powerful, and he watches over his people and he fights for them. And so we should always strive to do what God wants us to do and to obey his word because when we're on his side he is our defender and he always makes us victorious when we're with him thank you for letting me read to you another Bible story this week remember that God loves you so much and I'll see you next week